All right, Zealand, uh, listen here. I'm going to need you to come here. Hey, what's up, boss? All right. I'm going to give you all of this money right here. I want you to take it. This is your transfer budget for the year. Here you go. Thanks. There's a caveat. I want you to spend all of that money. Wait, are you, are you, wait, are you kidding me? Why, why can't I just... Why can't I just save a few? I'll spend this. I, I know it sounds weird. I want you to spend all of that money or I'll fire you. Well, that just sounds like bad business. I'm gonna do be I make myself perfectly clear. I will literally fire you if you do not spend all of my money. Okay. It's your funeral and you wonder why everybody ends up in administration. This is why. Hey, what's up? Welcome to another video and Hey, what's up? Welcome to another video. My name is Zealand, and there are more features because I've been officially challenged by the game's creator, Miles Jacobson, to make a video uh, about all of the interesting features that are released about Football Manager 21 as they come out. And yes, I know, I got a fresh haircut. I am going to live up to that challenge. Despite the potential haircut distractions and return of the facial hair, I'm gonna live up to that challenge. There was a Twitter blast a couple of days ago with new features, and obviously I took a break. We talked about the European Super League, we talked about COVID, but now we're back on that features grind. And the one that I was talking about in the intro, because I like to make rhetorical points in my intros, is probably one of the more potentially maddening features that Football Manager has introduced. And it is tied directly to this club vision that you get at the beginning of a game. So if you've played Football Manager at all, you know when you start a game, at least Football Manager 20, you're introduced to this thing called club vision, club culture, lays out the goals for the club and the different things that you have to do at a club. The initial idea was that if you're managing Barcelona, you can't exactly start playing Route 1 and everybody's gonna fall in love with you. Introduce some sort of club culture and a, a framework of goals for you to be judged on. And in Football Manager 20, this is turned into a point of certain frustration. Like if you take over Wolves, one of your club culture that you have have to sign Portuguese players. You can sign other players too, but you have to sign Portuguese players. And they're far from the only club that has a weird rule like that, that I get people messaging me in my DMs like, why did I get fired in this situation? It's like, well, cause they literally told you, you were going to get fired if you didn't do these things. And then you didn't do one of those things. It doesn't matter how ridiculous those things might seem to you. You're in Belgium and you have to sign Japanese players. You gotta go sign a Japanese player every year. Probably. I just make a habit of avoiding clubs that have those types of club visions, but they are now in the game and something that we have to contend with. But what Football Manager has now told us is that in FM21, we are going to have a lot more to contend with. And one is what I will call the Manchester City effect, which is where when you get a transfer budget, like our friend from earlier, you might be forced to spend it. <gasps> oh, my budget sense, my budget spidey senses are tingling. But you can see it. Right here, spend the original transfer budget and it's freaking required in the importance column that you spend the original transfer budget. At least they didn't say spend your total transfer budget. So like if you sell somebody and you get an even bigger transfer budget, you don't have to spend that too, but you are required to spend the transfer budget. Now I love hoarding money. I know I'm not alone. I love building up a huge balance so I can basically sign whoever I want when it comes down to it. If I see a guy that's gonna be one of the best players in the world, I can go sign that guy and life will be good. Now you're gonna be in a bit more of a realistic situation thanks to Football Manager 21. You're going to be in a situation where the board's sitting there like, gee, we gave this guy a lot of money. He should probably spend it to make the team better. Even if you go back to them and have some realistic plan that you're building your team up with youth and you're signing a bunch of cheap guys, you're almost forced to make bad decisions in order to spend your entire transfer budget. And it's not the only new one that we see on the screen. Minimum three-year contracts for first team players. I kind of love that. That's a super realistic thing for a board to ask you for. And I had never seen it until this screen grab right now. Honestly, that's kind of a rule of thumb for me anyways. If you're an actual first team player for a team in 
one of my saves that's not, you know, Genetos and Columbia, which we're playing on Twitch right now, which if you haven't followed the Twitch yet, then this might be your first video ever because I literally mention it every time. Link's down in the description. Come hang out with me live. Maybe I'll get another haircut or something. That wouldn't make any sense. Well, this was the thing that grabbed the headline for me out of this feature drop. There are, of course, a collection of other features that have been released. One that is going to make my job a lot easier, my job being at least half the time on this channel to explain how to play the game, a game that is eminently complicated. So I have a job for quite a long time, but there are arrows now for the width of defense. I've had a lot of debates with people over the width of defense and they have changed the wording for your defensive width on the tactical screen. So this is easier for you. You can force your opponent, you see it right here, force your opponent opposition outside. And then of course, the other natural part of it is you can force opposition inside. Instead of narrow or wide defending, it is telling you where you are pushing the team. Do you wanna force them inside? Do you wanna force them outside? What is your what is your goal? And if you still have trouble visualizing, the arrows I talked about are right here. They'll actually show you where the opponent is going to be funneled by the way that you are playing. Are you trying to funnel them inside? Are you trying to take a narrow formation and force them wide? What are you trying to do? It will show you, so you don't have to ask me. You, you can see it now, like what exactly it means. That's, for me, a quality of life improvement just for the quality of my life, but th this should make uh, your comfort in rearranging tactics just that much more easier. The clearer they can make what a button does to people, the better it is for everybody. And that's what they've done here. And speak Speaking of making your life easier, there is now a squad view that allows you to see playing time pathways. Now, this is when you're negotiating contracts, you are able to say, uh, Reese, for example, this is how I negotiated my contract with Reese. You are going to be a super sexy, awesome editor. And in two years, you're going to be a rich, super sexy, awesome editor. Well, you can go to a squad view that'll say super sexy, awesome editor, and then two seasons out, be blank, and then Rich, super sexy, awesome editor. To remind you that in those two years, that person is supposed to be a rich, super sexy, awesome editor. This is easy to forget. Obviously, a lot of things happen over the course of years, but if you go to a young player and say they're gonna be a regular starter in two years, you don't know that's coming and you don't renegotiate their contract, it can screw yourself. So at the beginning of every season, you pull up your playing time pathway after it's turned over, of course, to that next year, you pull up your playing time pathway to know exactly whose contracts you might need to renegotiate because they're not going to be able to get the playing time that they previously were guaranteed in order to get them to sign. Or to just remind yourself yourself that no oh, this person's expecting to play this much and if you want to give them that time then life is good and on another ease of use topic that just makes the game easier for y'all to play without me having to force you to do extra steps in order to accomplish easy things when you see this screen say when you sign tom deli bashiro wonderful stuff right well then you're going to get this in your inbox which is the same day i think oh it's a scroll down you see that? It's on the right. There's a little bar right here. It's a scroll down. So you scroll down and underneath the fan reaction to a signing, the moment you make a new signing, you don't have to remember. And I am terrible at this. I forget all the time. I will sign somebody and not set up their training for six months because I'm just not paying attention. I'm not locked in. I'm talking to you people on stream, whatever's happening. And now when you sign a player, you can scroll down, set up their entire individual training and even add them as a set piece taker or compare them to your current set piece takers, how they fit into your team in that way. That's just a beautiful ease of use change. Now, Football Manager 20 made a lot of ease of use changes. It looks like FM21, they're also going to include a lot of ease of use changes. And these are great because they help keep things like this from slipping through the cracks. Because right? in real life, there's no way in a million years you would forget to set up somebody's individual training for six months after they got there. Like they're just standing over on the side of the field, you know, like, like look at that guy, just standing there, not doing anything for six months because you forgot to assign him any individual training for six months. That obviously wouldn't happen in real life, and now it won't happen in Football Manager because you've got this lovely little reminder that's gonna take care of, of you. Those ease of use changes I'm very excited about. There is one change that they announced in this wave that it's just not like the others. I don't know why this is like an announcement, but maybe, maybe, maybe I'm winning the duel. Maybe they're running out of new features that they feel comfortable announcing right now because they talked about, they added a bunch of new media descriptions for goalkeepers, like just goalkeepers. Who cares? Like, nice, you expect those things to improve over time, but like, 
who cares so now there's fearless playmaking and veteran goalkeepers media descriptions so maybe that'll help if you're looking for a playmaking goalkeeper sweeper keeper if you're looking for somebody who just mixes it up in the bottom like you want all your goalkeepers to be fearless maybe the playmaking media description would probably help i like how they put the artist emoji next to it like ederson is just he's painting a picture drawing an own goal that he scored on himself stuff out there but they announced that feature and then they announced a feature that was literally already in one of their videos now we know what the screen looks like though when you go into a penalty shootout you're going to be able to see the body language of every player and obviously all your other penalty stuff and then it's a new penalty setup screen so when you go into penalties the five or six times that you do on football manager 21 you're going to be able to see this body language stuff and you're going to be able to set it up with that knowledge in mind which is great we talked about it in another video so i'll spare you the details i will also release you to take care of the rest of your day because that is it for the latest feature dump on football manager you know you can keep it locked right here for when new features come out that's basically it we do other stuff too but until further notice we are football managers features unlimited thinking about uh starting a trademark would you be interested